Hi guys, Dr. Tina here. I'm in my office in Portland, Oregon. I have all the lights off because it's a gorgeous sunny day outside. Uh, we haven't had sun like this in months, so really excited. I was outside earlier today getting some sun and I'm about to go to the gym. But I wanted to just leave a quick message with you guys and shoot this video. I was talking to my assistant today about skin and she was mentioning that, uh, you know, how important skin is and skin health and how people are slathering so many toxic chemicals on their skin to try to make it look better. And we really got to talking, you know, I'm 42 years old and while I don't have the most perfect skin, I definitely think that my skin is decent. It's much better than it ever was. I had acne as a teenager and I took antibiotics for that, which totally messed up my gut. And I had acne as an adult, which was very uh, dismaying to be in your 20s and 30s and still be dealing with acne. And it wasn't only until recently, I would say in the past 10 years or so that I got it under control. And I have to say that your skin is an outward reflection of what's going on inside your body. I don't usually wear makeup much, I'm not a big fan, and I just, maybe I'm lazy, <laughs> and I will get a compliment, usually from a younger woman, uh, so usually somebody in their 20s, and they'll compliment on me on how nice my skin looks or how young I look. And I always say the same thing, if you need to put makeup on, especially heavy makeup, something's going on with your health. Something is out of whack, it's usually hormones, it's very much to do with your gut, it has everything to do with your diet, and you know, exercise plays a role, sleep plays a huge role. And I was getting, you know, in, in thinking about this, I realized that's everything to do with pain. It's the same thing. I say this all the time, you know, how we treat our brain or our heart or our skin or whatever the condition is, it all comes down to the same basic treatment guidelines. And those would be adequate hydration, adequate sleep. I'm talking seven or eight hours a night uninterrupted proper nutrition, nutrient dense, whole foods, not a lot of processed foods, low sugar. Um, I think getting sunlight is actually very important for your health overall, including your skin health to some degree. And then proper supplementation is always helpful. And I'm not gonna get into that today because that varies from person to person and condi condition to condition. But I just wanted to throw that out there. If you're dealing with skin issues and they're chronic, the answer is not slathering toxic chemicals, especially expensive toxic chemicals all over your face. The answer is to look within, look at your health overall and take a good assessment of that because that's actually what's driving the external expression that's what skin is. Skin issues are the external expression of your inward health. So whether it's eczema, psoriasis, acne, you name it, it's all coming from what's happening with you and your body and your overall wellness. So just wanted to point that out there. Thank you so much for listening and I hope this was helpful.